This maneuver is called flexion with rotation. It is a movement that's commonly used in the McKenzie method. Um, method, And um, it should only be guided uh, in accordance with your McKenzie method professional. So it's just a reference video to show you how to execute it well. Flexion rotation, it depends which side you're going. That again, that's going to be facilitated by your clinician. But how to do it on your own is different than what your clinician does, uh, how the career clinician does it with you in the office. We're going to do left flexion and rotation. So my left side is the affected side, and that's going to go down. So what I'll do, so I'll lie down here, and I'm bring my knees up to about belly button level, and then I'll rest my head here with my hand, and the knees need to be belly button level because if it's lower, there's going to be more of a mid-back rotation movement. When we bring the knees up to belly button level or past, it's going to ensure we're moving through our low back, and that's what we want. From here, we do is we're simply going to rotate the shoulders back as far as you can go, and then bring it back. I like to do is just rest my hand on my chest here, turn the shoulder, and come back. Now, if you're turning, 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 and lifting that top knee up, the right knee here, that's we don't want that. So what you can do is take your left hand, rest your head on the pillow, left hand over the knee to block it, and then turn into it. If this hurts, that's okay. Just kind of kiss the pain and bring it back, kiss the pain, bring it back. But if you can go without pain or it's tolerable, push it, push it, push it, push it. Once you hit end range, breathe out and return. So notice I only go this far, but when I breathe out, watch how much further I go. <sighs> that little bit makes a difference. All right, so for the left side, left side down, the same thing would happen, like those moves, on the other side, if it's the right side. So same thing, block the uh, leg, hand on your heart, turn your shoulders now to the left side, breathe in and breathe out, sink into it. Typically, you want to perform these in sets of 10 repetitions spread throughout the day. So about 10 times every three to four hours or about 50 a day. Now, flexion and rotation is typically done lying down, but let's be real here. You can't lie down just anywhere, right? So there is a way to perform it seated. It doesn't always, um, let's say, have the same effect as lying down. But again, if it's okay with your clinician, this can be an effective movement. So we can perform the same flexion with rotation while seated by mimicking that same movement seated. So I first did the left side of flexion and rotation. So I was lying on my left, turning to the right. So I'm gonna do that same thing now while seated. But the important thing here is that my knees get to that belly button level. So if you have a chair that goes up or down, uh, like a desk chair, you'd wanna do that to bring your legs up. If you don't, then you can always prop your legs up by putting your feet under a phone book. Who has those nowadays? But propping your feet under something to bring your knees to belly button level, right? I ideally should go a little bit higher here. So I'm going to grab this pad here to put my, hand, my feet on so my knees are a little bit higher. Now from here, I'm going to turn to my right because I'm affecting the left side. So I'll take my hand, block my knees here, and then turn my body to the right and then come back. Remember, if it hurts, just kiss the pain. If it starts easing up as you go, that's good, keep going. And to go a little further, if it's full and pain-free, hold, breathe out, get a little bit further, 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 and come back. If this movement is causing an increase of pain and making your pain and function or symptoms worse, Stop doing it, message your clinician for further guidance. If you find it's easing up as you go, that's a good sign, keep going with it. If it's the same every time, that's okay. Keep going with your repetition, your sets, 10 times every three to four hours.